So it's top of the Sports Mike Zone for this Tuesday. The best nine netball teams from across the region are just weeks away from converging in Kingston, Jamaica to fight for places to the 2023 World Cup in scenic Cape Town in South Africa. The America's Netball World Cup qualifying tournament is set for the 16th to the 22nd of October at the National Indoor Sports Center in Kingston. Host nation Jamaica have already qualified by virtue of their world ranking. The other eight teams, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Antigua and Barbuda, the Cayman Islands, Grenada, St. Lucia and the United States will battle for two qualifying spots. A total of 36 matches will be played in a league format. We are pleased to be joined by President of America's Netball, Marva Bernard, and the Chairman of the Local Organizing Committee, Dwayne Gutsmer, to talk about this event, which is less than a month away, as we just said. Marva and Dwayne, welcome to the Sportsmax Zone. Great to have you on. I noted that the Asian qualifiers uh, were completed a couple of weeks ago with uh, Singapore and Sri Lanka, the two teams mm -hmm. qualifying from Asia, filling up the spots for the World Cup teams uh, roster for next year in, in Cape Town. How ready is America's netball for this Caribbean? Let me not say Caribbean, America's because Thank the United you. States are involved and Thank for you. this this hemisphere of qualifiers for the World Cup. How ready are we? Uh, well, we uh, <laughs> yeah, we are ready. We're ready. Uh, I think we have a competent team uh, that's pulling things together and we've been meeting um, endlessly, uh, certainly over the last couple of months, to just make sure that all the uh, T's are crossed and the I's dotted. So we're we're ready uh, to host host these um, you know uh, teams from the region yes. uh, here in Jamaica. Yeah, well, of course, you know, hosting big events is nothing new to oh, no. to us Caribbean people. Jamaica hosted the World Netball Championship back in 2003. Three. Um, so an America's Netball tournament shouldn't hold any terrors for us as administrators or organizers of the sport. Um, uh, Jamaica will be taking part, though, even though they will not count as the qualification series. Isn't yeah, that Jamaica so? Jamaica playing yes. only for ranking points. Ranking points. Yes. They are only playing for ranking points and to showcase the Sunshine Girls at home that we haven't seen for some time, mm -hmm. to add some competitive edge to, to the tournament. All the teams want to play against Jamaica, but they will not be playing for a trophy. They are not playing for points to go into the pool to determine who it ultimately goes. They are only playing for ranking points. Yeah, well, based on rankings worldwide, the Trinis and the Barbadians would, based on their rankings, be favorites to take the top two spots. But we know that there are times that teams from St. Vincent and the Grenadines and St. Lucia and so on can be, you know, you know pretty, pretty potent. Um, how competitive do you expect the competition to be, Marva? I expect it to be very competitive, Lance. They had an OECS tournament earlier in February, which is where the, o, uh, the OECS Dominica. countries, yes, they played. Mm. It was in Dominica. Yes, yes. And the matches were very competitive. Mm. And based on the results of the Commonwealth Games, Barbados and Trinidad are now closer together. Mm. And I know that bragging rights and ranking um, points and wanting to be in the, the two that will be invited to participate in the tournament is foremost in the minds of St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Mm -hmm. Trinidad and Barbados will be fighting to remain the two that always go. So Grenada and Antigua Barbuda are happy to be here and are not here just, are not coming just to have some fun. Yes. Because everybody preparing assiduously yeah. to be here. Yeah. Trinidad and Tobago has not Barbados, um, St. Lucia mm -hmm. has a Jamaican coach, head coach on their bench. It's no secret. Meneth Reynolds is helping St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. Like a technical director, kind of? She's known as the head coach. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I know Meneth brings a wealth of experience to the St. Lucia team. And St. Lucia is not a stranger to using Jamaican coaches. You know, Connie had been there before. Right before. Yeah. And Oberon so, Peterson had been down that side in, as well, doing some in, coaches. In Grenada. Grenada. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure, I've not heard of any other names. I know Cayman Islands, which we didn't mention, has a technical director from England. Yes. So everybody is now beefing up their coaching staff mm -hmm. to ensure that they 
perform creditably in this in these qualifiers. Yeah. We will be over the next couple of weeks, Marva and Dwayne, be talking to the teams and the coaches as they get ready. Definitely. But I, I remember reading an interview with the St. Vincent and the Grenadines coach. St. Vincent and the Grenadines won that OECS tournament, although Barbados had beaten them, but Barbados were playing as a guest team, so they didn't qualify to be to be champions. But the margin of victory that Barbados had over St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the St. Vincent and the Grenadines coach, I recall, suggested that it wasn't that big a margin that they couldn't use the, in the, the coming months to improve their game, to, to challenge Barbados and probably, probably even, even beat them. Uh, Dwayne, from an organizing standpoint, mm -hmm. um, you, you said pretty much that, that the teams are ready. Where will be the base of the sure. teams or will they be spread over different um, hotels or... What's the arrangement for accommodation for them? Yes, so most of the teams will be housed uh, at UA. Um, we've um, made arrangements there and that's where most of the teams will be. Some will be at Four Seasons and we'll work out the logistics to make sure that the teams are there. Uh, but they will all converge on the indoor sports complex for the exciting nail-biting matches as Marva set them up earlier. Uh, because these teams have been preparing for this. Only two can go forward, and they're all jostling to see which two. Yeah, one of the issues surrounding global sport for the past couple of years would have been the COVID-19 pandemic, mm -hmm. which sort of put a damper on a lot of sporting events. And we have not had a lot of competitive netball in the region since March 2020, when COVID-19 hit. Um, what are you sensing from the participating teams about coming to the event, not only because it's important as a World Cup qualifier, but also to get that, that the, the competitive juices flowing again. Yeah, well, I could tell you one of the things that we had to sit with the schedule over and over is because they want to play matches. They want to see how much uh, we can fit into this particular period. And based on, you know, the COVID-19, as you mentioned, and some of the other things that was happening, this is their um, regional World Cup. And so we did as best as we could in terms of accommodating as many games for these uh, teams as possible. So uh, we'll be having on some days eight matches. And then on some days we'll have 16 matches because we'll have a morning uh, set of matches. Session, yes. And then uh, in the afternoon yeah. we have another set of matches as well. Yeah. Sorry, four and four. Okay. So I, I gather, Mark, that the, the tournament will be a league format so everyone plays everyone. Round robin. And it's right. not, That's not what going to be any groupings. No, no, no zones. So, round robin. Yeah. So round robin. So everyone plays everybody. everyone. Mm -hmm. And that is, uh, that is a format that is embraced by the, competitive, the comp competing teams? Yes, that's what they want. Yep. That they wanted it. Yep. And more, more matches. They, yeah, and, and, and um, World Netball is very strong on player welfare mm -hmm. and on umpires' welfare to, to, to include them in. Athlete welfare, so you put the, um, the umpires in. Mm -hmm. And normally you have nine teams in a regular round robin competition with enough days for rest and recovery. World Netball will assign 10 umpires. 10. But because it's a round robin and more work for the umpires, mm -hmm. they, they have assigned an additional umpire, so it's 11. Mm -hmm. We've also allowed the teams to travel with 15. So they can... Player if, rotation. Right. And, but once the player comes on to the roster, they can't come off. So it's not an in and out, in and out. So we are making it, based on World Netball's guidelines, easier for them to f be ready for any unexpected injuries with their players so they carry 15. Mm -hmm. But once the, 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 that player takes the court, they, the other, they can't just, somebody else come on. Yeah, come Marv, on. I know sponsorship has always been an issue with most sport, um, netball, um, high, high on the list. Mm -hmm. um, how is that being taken care of? Okay, we have a, I love to say, how should I describe my friend Karen Rosen? She is in charge of this sponsorship, and I tag along with her. Yes. <laughs> I tag along with her. We dealt with the low-hanging fruit first, which is all the companies who helped us with the high school championship in 2018. Yes. And they've all come back and doubled their, their um, contribution. I'm still waiting on one, and they, if they're listening, and they know who they are, to come back with double what they promised or they gave us. But it has been encouraging. It has not been easy. Sponsorship is not an easy road. I know that, yeah. You follow up, you send love, you encourage, you remind. I know we got a big sponsor this season. I'm mm. not going to 
hell everybody, but a, a big sponsor came on while doing an hour oh. in the room. Well, well, but sport. it's been encouraging. Some of our institutional sponsors have come back. Yes. And one or two others have come on board. Well, oh, I mean in Jamaica's... Yes, that's, that's, that's great to know. We're going to take a break, uh, Mava and, and Duane, as we continue to talk about the uh, Af I was about to say AFNA because it was previously the American Federation of Netball Associations, so now America's Netball, Netball AN. Yes. Uh, that yes. World Cup qualifying starts the 16th of October in Kingston, Jamaica, and uh, the top netball players from right across the region will be involved. We go to break. We'll be back with more on that after this. <laughs> 